We present the case of VL, a 66-year-old man with a sigmoid mass 20 centimeters from the anal verge. Based on preoperative MRI, there was also small bowel involvement into the mass. Given this, we plan for a laparoscopic low anterior resection with end block small bowel resection. Lysis of adhesions was performed on entry, and we identified the fistula between the distal ileum and sigmoid colon. We isolated and divided the small bowel, first proximal, and then distal to the fistula, and divided the small bowel with the endogia stapler. Then mobilize the descending colon along the line of tolt from the pelvic inlet proximally. Here you see the small bowel adhered to the colon. We divided the small bowel mesentery in order to access the sigmoid. Then turned our attention towards mobilizing the sigmoid. A medial to lateral dissection was performed. The anatomy and ureters were identified and protected. The vascular pedicle was skeletonized. then divided with the ligature. We then mobilized the transverse colon, entering the lesser sac and removing the omentum from the transverse colon. We continued the dissection laterally. Freeing up the splenic flexure and continuing to march down towards the descending colon. We continue to free the mesentery attachments to the retroperitoneum. And our medial and lateral dissection planes met. After freeing the final mesenteric attachments to the retroperitoneum and to the sidewall, the left colon was then freely mobile. Here you see our mobile left colon specimen. Then turned our attention towards mobilizing the rectum. Here you see the small bowel specimen left unblocked on the rectum. We performed a total mesocolic excision using tension to expose the correct planes for dissection. We started the dissection posteriorly. Then moved around the lateral side walls of the rectum towards the anterior plane. Then finally freed up the rectum anteriorly. We verified the tumor height, then divided distally to it with the endogia stapler. The distal small bowel was then mobilized, protecting the right ureter. Bowel was exteriorized, specimen resected, and the anvil placed, then returned into the empty pelvis. From below, the EEA stapler pin was deployed below the staple line. The pin and anvil were then secured, and the stapler was fired to create the low anastomosis. A leak test was performed, confirming an airtight anastomosis.